Chemicals designed to get rid of rodents are hurting more than just pests. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Courtney Cole. And I'm David Wade. More birds of prey like hawks and owls are being poisoned by the rats that they catch. As WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us, there are simple ways to help protect wildlife. Behind these eyes, you'll find concern. In these hands, an animal clinging to life. We do an eye exam on them just to make sure they don't have trauma to the back of the eye. This is a red-tailed hawk, as common to the area as its ailment, the ingesting of rat poison. From information gathered from published studies, we assume that at some point in their life, every potential animal bird of prey is exposed at some point. The animal was found on a stoop. Vets think it collided with a building. It takes severe trauma to cause extensive bruising. Only there were no fractures on the x-rays, leading Dr. Priya Patel to believe it may have ingested a rodent that consumed a second generation anticoagulant rodenticide, also known as an escar. When these birds get exposed to these escars, they bruise and bleed much more easily from a minor, minor wound or infliction. Their blood struggles to clot as their red blood cells rapidly decrease. It took over two hours for the blood to clot. Patel is saying a healthy bird should clot in less than five minutes. I feel like typically when this happens, they don't make it. What made this bird live? It all depends on how much toxin they ingested and how quickly they get into veterinary care. Dr. Patel says a recent tough study showed 100% of the birds they tested had been in contact with the poison. And not just for one escar, but multiple escars. Just today, the Mass Audubon Society lost a great horned owl from ingesting an escar in Belmont. Education is probably the best thing we can do to reduce the amount of escars are, that are being put into the environment. This includes finding alternate methods to deal with the rats. In Weymouth, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.